Uh-huh. Hello, hello, I am Kaylee Rose, and this is I'm a Big Fan Of. Today I'm a big fan of, every day I'm a big fan of, Amy Felice. Amy Felice is an award-winning songwriter who has had songs placed in feature films such as The Never List, TV shows for The CW, Hallmark Movies, and more. She excels at helping emerging artists, like me, find their voice and communicate the story that they're trying to tell. She is one of my favorite people to write with. I might even say my favorite. Don't tell anyone. Just kidding. This is broadcast. <laughs> Amy Felice. I'm a big fan of Amy Felice. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Hi. How are you? Hi. In your beautiful, humble home. Thank you. I don't know yeah. humble. It's just like so light and pretty. It's not humble. Yeah. Humble. It's, it's, it's mostly weird. because I still like haven't totally moved into it. <laughs> And so, if you can create music from there, you're good. But I yeah. do have this nest of pillows you have going on. Oh, that is like, like a good always thing. pillows, lots of blankets. It's really like... It's so it's, it's excessive. Yeah. And it's like important. Is that where you write from usually? Um, so usually, I mean, I do write up here, but then yeah. my like where I will record and stuff isn't actually in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, Fair. Fair. So like, oh, it works for Billie Eilish. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> did you watch that documentary? I only like saw pieces of it. So, yeah. I'm gonna. No, I started watching it, and then it immediately made me want to make my own stuff. So I just like, I don't know. I don't like watching other people do the thing that I want to do. I want to do the thing. Oh, know? it's like, like yeah. you know, you just feel this energy when and yeah. you're like, when I just sit here, I have to go do it now. Totally, exactly. <laughs> so maybe I'll watch five more minutes of it. So Amy <laughs> is someone that I write with all the time. Um, she helps me make my crazy and turn it into a song. And <laughs> you're really, really good at working with different. I feel like that is your strong suit, working with artists and helping artists navigate their own crazy hopefully not just me <laughs> I mean, it's not crazy it's like it's beautiful because mm -hmm. I just feel like uh you you come with like this buffet of ideas right. and it's like delicious it's all good <laughs> stuff and then I just get to like pretend I'm a chef and be like I want a little bit of this and a little bit of that and like we get to make all these different meals yeah. I imagine just, it is different every time with every artist the process yeah I mean Every artist has like a different process, whether they want to start with like lyrics or melodies or concepts or like some chord progressions or like sometimes I'll, you know, it's just like a track that I, that they already have or, you know, depending on who they are or, you know, some artists are like really defined in their sound. Some mm -hmm. of them are still exploring their sound. It's fun to kind of see where people are at. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, oh, what do we not have in the catalog yet? Or sometimes yeah. it's, like, oh, this is what I'm feeling and this is what I want to hmm. communicate today. So that's interesting. What do we not have in the catalog yet? I don't usually think like that. It's more, I don't know. This is where I am right now. Let's write about it. <laughs> yeah. But you oh. are so good at rolling with it and adapting. You're very adaptable, I'm sure, with me and with other artists. I think, I mean, it's just fun. Mm -hmm. It's like fun. It's like playing to yeah. me. You know, it's, it's, it's one of the areas where it's feel like I can be fearless and we can like, you know, we can take risks together. And, and the nice thing is that I have you there to mm. say like this feels good or it doesn't like feel good or does this feel authentic to me yeah. and, and allowing your your feedback to guide you know the yeah. process does that break your heart because I've you know more early so in my songwriting career I wrote with artists and I didn't think that I was putting out my own stuff and then in the end I started putting out my own stuff because I liked knowing that these things would get made. I wanted to tell stories that only I could tell, but it would break my heart when we would work so hard on something and then it wouldn't get released. And I feel like that rarely must happen to you because it seems like a lot of your things are getting made. Yeah, so most of the stuff that I worked on does get released. Mm -hmm. The harder stuff is like the stuff that I do for sync mm -hmm. because then you're just kind of waiting yeah. and like hoping at some point and then especially if like there's something you know that I did like two years ago or something I'm like oh will that be outdated now like yeah. is that like done <laughs> but so not you know I worried about that too especially now that I'm um talking to a lot of radio people I might promote something to radio that released a solid year ago that mm -hmm. my song that chick and I'm like is it old, you know? And then I talked to this marketing person. He's like, there are 9 billion people who have not yet heard that song. It's not old. So I don't know where I got that concept that it was old news and you have it too. So we got to yeah. get it. There's yeah. some, I think it's just a sense of like fresh and current yeah. and like, yeah. you're like, oh, is that snare? Was that all, like, was that like two yeah. years ago? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, that sound. And so like always feeling like, 
oh, that's obsolete now. That was six months ago. I literally feel that way. I'm like, oh, that feels like so much time. Totally. Absolutely. That goes by. But sometimes I feel like the industry is just not ready for the sounds that we might be bringing them. Yeah, you know, and just timing is weird because you don't mm-hmm. you don't always know. But when when it's an artist, sometimes too, it still will take like like it could be like a year or yeah. or more necessary. Like mm-hmm. you know, like before it comes out or whatever. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's always like okay, I lo- especially if I really like the song and I'm like okay, I really want yeah. it to come out and um you know I think there's even like some of ours that like we haven't like we kind of written like I was I just think thinking finished Honest woman one of us. What are we gonna like? When is it gonna happen? <laughs> It's funny. It's time, you know, and it's, it's timing and it's such a, an intangible concept that you can't quite communicate when you're ready. Like honest woman, I've just been waiting for, I want it to have the release that it's due. I want it to. And is that, is that like a summer release? Probably not. Maybe yeah, that's like see, a fall a release. Too. Well, and, I actually yeah. had my marketing person that I was working with last fall analyze um, when labels release darker stuff. Because I was like, oh, maybe, you know, in January? Is that a good time? She's like, no, <laughs> lots of labels. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, no, lots of labels are doing like New Year, New Me songs. Oh, so like, gotcha. Yeah, I'll wait a little bit longer. And then like, obviously not the summertime, you know, maybe April, yeah. maybe October. So I'm just doing it. Yeah, I maybe know. October? It's like, oh, it's Halloween. I'm going to do it as like a Halloween, like darker release. Yeah. But I don't know, especially this week with the placement that I got for that documentary, like I really fully understand now, just make art that we want to make, yeah. you know, don't try to second guess because that song, we did not write it for sync. Let's talk about this because I feel like a lot of people, you know, come to me and like tune in to me for writing for film and TV, writing for sync. Okay. So you and I have had endless debates, probably more debates than you want to have with me about this. Because I'm sometimes like, you know, do you write for sync? Because we go to a lot of these conferences and we get a lot of information and then we want to put it to use. But we have to kind of throw all that away at the end of the day and write things that feel authentic. So do you put on kind of not blinders, but like sync goggles when you're writing for sync? Or do you write what you want to write? What's your process? Like, I don't know. I mean, I so I've. I've kind of like, I, it's in there, right? It's in my brain. Like the thing, the things I've been told about sync, mm. you know, like, oh, like sometimes you want to have more general thematic things and it's more about the mood mm. than necessarily like these specific lyrics or, you know, like you want to have different like sections so that like, you know, the supervisor can have different parts to like pick from. And so these are all like, they're just in there. So yeah. do I, am I like sitting there thinking like, this is for sync? Yes and no, yeah. like, because what I found is that the ones that have gotten placed, I did not write for sync. See, that's so crazy. And me too. I just wrote them and I thought that they were like interesting to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, there have been ones that I've edited, like I've gotten feedback and I'm like, oh, it's a little bit, especially ones that I did earlier on, like, oh, it's yeah. a little bit too long. So I'm going to shorten that up or mm-hmm. make sure that I have more variation in the melody or maybe I need to change out some of these like sounds or add sounds to it that are going to be more catchy. Um, I think sometimes what I know now, like when I do a song, um, is like maybe I'll go, oh, I think this will be good for mm-hmm. sync. Like I'll just kind of know like based mm-hmm. off of writing it. But I feel like if I overanalyze it, and I know we talked about this too, is then like somebody listens to it and they're like, oh, yeah, you wrote this for sync. Yeah, it's a fine line. And so, and you don't want anyone thinking that. Yeah. What's an example? Because um, you music said I'm writing something. Go ahead. Are sensitive to that? I feel like. Yes. Like when they listen to it, they're like, "Yeah, we we see what you're doing here," but like. Too much. Yeah, you know they want authentic artists. They want to feel like, if it, they're putting it on their show, or whatever, that someone can like find the artist and go look them up, and then you know it's like. Yeah. There's yeah, there's that part of it too. I think our um, BS meter as humans has gotten, I mean, it should have always been this in tune and fine tuned, but it's gotten even more discerning. There we go. It's really, it's sensitive. Yeah. And well, I think what I've d- noticed too is that like I have done the thing where I'm like, oh, I've noticed that this kind of song is being placed a lot right now. So like maybe I'm going to do a song like that. But yeah. what I think is better or like not better, but something that sometimes feels more authentic is when I'm like, say, like, say I'm like checking out shows or doing some research and I'm like, oh, I have songs Mm. or I have a sound that's authentic to me that I think will work. 
mm-hmm. you know, really well, really you know, with, with this thing. Yeah. Um, or like, I'm real, like, I know that I'm like, like, if you want like a sentimental song, I can write that song like all yeah. day. Like, yes, I, I can, you know, bring on like the emotion or like, <laughs> I was watching like Spider-Man, the new one the other day. Uh-huh. And I was like, super, you know, there's something about it, like the whole villain bit, like finding the good in them. And I was like, oh, like, I connect with that, you know, and then I go <laughs> went and write a song about it, you know? And so then it started out with it. It's, you it'll did be, write a song about it. I want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. It'll be it'll be coming out that's soon. A good but, line. Well, like, was it the villain in me? Is that the? Yeah, like, I mean that's not the title of it, yeah. but it was. I just love that idea of like I was like, oh, like you know, we have these different parts of ourselves, and and like you know, something brings that out of us or whatever. So I was just like moved by that. But I find that to be easier for me than being like, oh like I'm gonna write a song like this because I keep hearing that I can do it but I just find myself being like eh. it feels more of like a job at that point which is okay sometimes you have to just have a job yeah totally (laughs) and you can do that but I don't know that that's like where the the magic happens I think a lot of times it's just kind of going like what am I good at Mm -hmm. and let me help these people that need it Mm -hmm. find it absolutely that's a really good way to put it and it's it's funny because you and I, you know, so Amy and I go to a lot of these writing for film and TV conferences where we get to meet music supervisors and show them our music. And Durango is one of them. Mm-hmm. We're going to be roommates for one in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but you do, you know, it's, I think it's hard for me to see what's making other people successful like that music, you know, because I really mm-hmm. like the high energy stuff. And then not make it, you know, but you do have to be authentic to who you are and what sound you put forth. And so I'm still, you know, kind of in that figuring out stage and maybe I never will. (laughs) I think I'll just always be fine tuning myself for the rest of the It's kind of like sometimes you just have to try things on. Yeah. Because you don't know. Like you might think, well, I can't really do that. But then you try it. Mm -hmm. There are definitely things that I've done where I'm like, I don't think I'm going to be good at that. I think you can do everything. I don't think that this is like things I've used my voice on that I'm like, oh, I'm definitely not going to sound good doing that. Mm -hmm. And then I do it. I'm like, oh, I guess I guess I can do that. Like, who knew? You know, so sometimes you have to just try things on. Yeah. It's like going shopping. Like, you're like, that doesn't really look good on the rack, but then you try it on. You're like, actually, this is hot. So. I feel like you probably get that feeling more than you get in the opposite way. Like, I'm sure you're trying things on. You're like, yep, and musically and and physically. That sounds so good on you, you know? You put your voice on so many things. People don't really know that, but they should know that. (laughs) You have an amazing and adaptable voice to many different styles. I think that, again, that's just – I try to always keep in mind when I'm doing everything, and you know this, Katie, like I'm always like – how can I be propelled by joy, by love, by these things? Because if I go into things, like, it's very easy for me to, like, do the what ifs Mm -hmm. or to be like, I don't know. So if I try to stay in this space of, like, being curious, having fun, trying things out, not letting it feel so heavy, because it can, especially when it's your job, like, it's your career. And so you're like, sometimes it feels risky Mm -hmm. to be like, I don't want to waste time, right? Like, time is the thing that we can't get back. And it's like you have a family and you have – these things and you're you know trying to support yourself mm-hmm. but at the end of the day it's like we're really I feel anyways like I'm so happy that I get to do this mm-hmm. and so if I start to lose sight of that and then just get afraid or like rigid yeah. or you know not capable of trying new things and like that's just the whole thing like if you're not like, t- like really comfortable failing and looking foolish this is just not the thing it's not for you well it's no. like I don't know, my niece, when she talks about what she wants to do with her life, I, I don't mean to, like, be negative, but I'm like, okay, well, what's the negative? Like, there's negatives to everything, so you have to be comfortable with those negatives because I want you to be comfortable in life. I want you to be happy. So are you okay with, like, auditioning every single day as an actress if that's what you want to do? Because that's reality. But maybe I'm, I don't know, being too much of a grim reaper to her. I think, I mean, that certainly scared me about the music. And I mean, that's why I didn't get into it until much like later in life, because I was like, oh, it's not practical. It's not a practical job. I don't, and uh, certain things about it. I was like, unlike you, you know, in terms of the artist, I was like, well, I don't really want to play it. Like, I don't want to travel and play all these places. Like, I don't like my Instagram. Like, you can an Instagram yeah. account. There's not a lot of like me. I'm like, if I could do it like without like me at all, <laughs> it would just be like pictures of what I'm and I don't get why, because I want more of you always. 
<laughs> but like, I just want, I love being like, ooh, I wrote the song. Mm-hmm. And like Kaylee's the face of it. Like, yes, that is perfect. But I think finding that out, and that was what, and this would be my advice for kind of anybody thinking yeah. about taking a risk. Like, take some time to to kind of play in that. I said to myself, I like promised myself I'm going to do one year, you know, and I was still working and doing teaching and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But I'm going to do one year where I just like learn everything I can about this industry, everything mm-hmm. I can about songwriting. I, I was still teaching, but I was like, I'm for a year, I'm going to spend time learning everything I can about songwriting. Because mm-hmm. I know that there's a difference between what you think something is going to be and what it actually is. And I wanted to do my due diligence and I wanted like... I knew that there was a chance that I could say, hey, I really enjoy songwriting mm-hmm. as a hobby. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like when it comes to the arts, like whether it's singing, dancing, visual arts, like it's okay to like really that. like something and not make it your career. Hey, I'm Kaylee Rose and thank you so much for watching my video. If you like what you saw, subscribe.